You actually told me to fuck off. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. We've got microphones on me and Sue. The guys are making a film about the pub. I better get a lady light drink then. And there's a few eggs selling here, so come on, start fucking bidding. We'll get the arse top, you stick oh, out I didn't here. understand a fucking word you said. It's going to be sadly missed. But it's not so much the building, it's the people. It's the kids building them, Nick, it's the birdies, isn't it? Bless me, Father Brian. You walk into a pub, you're just a customer, right? But you walk into this pub, you're not, you're a you're family, you're part of a family, yeah? Well, it's our last football uh, home game today. Uh, today I've got my two sons, Lee and Jake, um, my nephew Robert who's there. You know, family has always been at the root of everything for us on match days. So it's the final game, it's Wenger's last game, my dad's last game. We've known this day's been coming for a little while, but it just hasn't felt real. And even now it doesn't still quite feel real. I think it's probably the way my dad treats people. They like him. You know, he's, he's a fair guy, he's honest and he's sort of front of the house and he's, you can show that he cares. Now that it's come down to the last few weeks, it's very real for me and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna miss it. You're joking? <laughs> Jesus Christ. People voted what song should be on there. No way. That, that was the top ten. Wow. Del, thank you. That's Joe, that is so kind. Whoever thought that is so kind. That's made me a little tear for that. <laughs> That's lovely. All right. Everybody taking a piss out here. You know what I mean? You can't come into your pub and say this on fuck oh, Well, I don't want to swear. Can I swear? You can't turn this out, fuck off, you wanker, and all that. Because you take it serious. But in here, everybody knows everybody. You know we're all laughing, just to laugh, yeah? We'll get the arse on top, you can stick oh, out. I didn't yeah? understand a fucking word you said. When I took over the pub uh, on the 3rd, uh, the 12th, 1990, Eamon was, my first job was to actually ask him to leave. Uh, I think it was about six in the morning, wasn't it? Yes, because I was working at seven. <laughs> so I asked you to come. You're not barred, sir. Come You're back. Not barred, sir. Please come back at a res uh, on opening. But what you actually a did, respectable you, time. You actually told me to fuck off. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> and I did, but I did come back at eleven. You told me to fuck off again. Is that? It was a pleasure. Are you kidding me? Thank you. A little kiss. He stuck his tongue in the <laughs> seat. Thank you. I've been coming here since about six, seven with my old man. If I walk in here now, I've just said hello to about 20 people, I know. So, always made to feel welcome. No worries in the world when you're here. Uh, May 89, Liverpool Way, as we pulled up on the Holloway Road, looked down to the right and the lights were still on in the George. Piled off, run around the corner, first time I went in the George. Been coming here ever since. Our church, our religion. No Peter now, got the name. Him, the family, we are family. It's a pub's pub. It's a lot of com camaraderie. It's a lot of years it goes back to. And Peter accommodates our type of people. Yeah, everyone's friendly, everyone knows each other. It's out the way a bit as well, so you don't get tourists as such coming in. Like Arsenal's best pub around. Yeah, and I really, really believe in that. Because there's a church nearby, you get to, to meet people in the church and then you automatically come out of church and the first thing you do, are you coming for a drink? Obviously you say yes. You know, if you're feeling down the dumps, you can come in and meet somebody and have a drink and have a chat. You know, it's a tonic in itself. You know, it was after work, it was next door. All the local lads would be in, playing cards, telling lies. It's like a front room to me. But I use, usually used to come in with a great friend of mine, Martin, and sadly he's in hospital at the moment. Martin Cook. Is that Eamon's dad? Eamon's dad. So you've known Eamon for a long time? I've known Eamon since he was 
Yeah. Character. And Dad would always be in with Auntie Mag Saturday, good Catholics, all that bollocks, come in, get drunk, and, yeah, the usual. Hypocrites. I must have fun. Watch that side, I've got to be mate, don't I? <laughs> You've been a bad influence on me, you know that. Yeah. Hey man, do you want a bit of cake? Not yet, I'm going to stick it down his face. Keep that knife on you. <laughs> Just screw <laughs> it. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Margaret. Happy birthday to you. I remember all those neighbours up along the street here. They were quite fun, quite fun, but unfortunately a lot of them have died and not too many left, you know. Yeah, but one minute you could be drinking with a raving fucking lunatic, the old bill chasing after him or whatever, the next minute you're drinking with a professor. And yet they all know each other. It's weird, some people go to strange pubs and they, you know, the jukebox even stops and looks at you. It's not that sort of place. Piss takers, good ones. He you not know, looked like a cat burglar though, doesn't he? I can never understand that milk tray, man, because he, he used to leave the chocolates and all that, but he never mentioned the fucking avalanche that was coming on up. I mean, the birds getting out of the bar. Oh, look, chocolates. There's an avalanche behind you. You never got that mixed, did you? For fuck's sake. Well, every day the old man's in here. Not so much now, obviously, because he's not banged up, but he's in, in a home. But then he got to the stage now where he can't sort of make it down, which was I was delighted about. No, I got engaged in there once. And Tony Adams and Noel Quinn were here. Ray Parler's just come in, just walked straight to the bar there. I was like, Dad, Dad. I was like, Ray Parler's in the pub, Ray Parler's in the pub. Dad's like, who, who, who? <laughs> like, thinking he's bars or something like that. And I was like, no, Ray Parler, Arsenal, Invincible. He's like, where, which one? I was like, oh my God. Yeah, like, I'm trying to play this call. I'm trying anymore. to play this call. I'm like, well, that one there. By the way, roads used to be full of pubs, but now, I mean, it's all gastro pubs, all they're converting them, as is going to happen to the George. Islet and Council say there's an embargo on shutting down pubs. It'll probably lay dormant for a couple of years. Uh, all of a sudden, they'll say, oh, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no need for a pub in this area. All of a sudden, it's converted into two or three, four flats. We're getting pushed out. They're trying to get rid of grassroots supporters. They want tourists in that spend money in the club shop. All that carry on, but... Old school supporters are still around. You, you remember uh, Joanna and her friend coming here one day to meet me? I do. And uh, you, you talked them out because of the Arsenal fans. I thought she was your bird. But, uh... <laughs> she moved to South End, Joanne. She does all my bookings, you know. Oh, right, okay. And she said, come up one weekend. I said, okay, so I went up there. I'll oh, see you in a minute, Joe. I've never seen the place so empty. And the windows are clean. I've been in here with a few of the boys, we've all sat down, it's like being in a pub. So Bosch, Cookies Bar Grill and Casino. We've got the whole shooting match going on. Four of clubs. Bollocks, never any good at that game. Did, did you start building this when your dad was still here? Yeah, yeah, when he got taken ill. But it's still, it, it didn't matter to dad, he was there, it's not the George. You know, he'd still want to climb out the fucking window and go and have a pint. I mean, even on his, I wasn't here on his 80th birthday, I was in America, I was just on my way back. And there was, I don't know, there 60 or 70 people in the house, I believe. And they all went to say happy birthday to Dad. He went out for a piss and he fucked off to the pub. So he was in the Georgia. That's the last drink he had in the house. That's Daddy's glass there, his hot toddy. 6th of April, 
2018. That was his last hot toddy in here. Looks like a fucking urine sample, granted, but. How come you've kept the uh, drink? Well, the day, the Friday before I went away and I knew, I said to my baby sister, Gemma, I bet that's the last drink he has in the house. You know, it was like sight. I could see that he wasn't going to come back. So I'm not saying he was going to peg it, but he was close to that as well. Sentimental. If that makes any sense. Especially the mental bit. But <laughs> I don't know how long I'll be here now after this, but... End of an era. There's a lot of stuff in the pub. People wanted to know what's, where it was going, pictures and ornaments we have, and we just couldn't decide who to give it to. So we decided to do an auction. Any money we raise, if any, we will put straight to charity as well. So I think that was a nice sort of way of doing it. Now this must get your juices going. Righty, handing over the mantle to Thierry Henry. 20 pound anywhere, 20 pound here, lovely. We've known this day was coming. <laughs> But now it's almost here. It's, you know, it's sad. Cheers, Dale. Yeah, this is as sad as I began. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Look at how many Christmas songs we have in here. You know what I mean? And even Pete was like, we're talking about it. He got, you know, a little bit choked up. Yeah. Did you cry at Ivory? Yeah. I did. Yeah, yeah. I shed tears. No, Fuck it. And since. Yeah, an XL <laughs> 71 home shirt. And there's a few eggs selling here, so come on, start fucking bidding. Did you find him on the, in a box so on the doorstep? Yeah. He's not my number one son. He's Sorry. too intelligent to be any of your sons. He's not my number one. No matter where we go, there'll never be all of us in the same, in the same place. place again. How many of you are on the clock end? It's not the one that was in the stadium. I could try and bullshit you, but it's a lot smaller. But it's been in the George for a while. Wow. Right now, now give him his wallet back. And his dignity. Yeah, it's at the ends of the community that we have here, and it is what it is. But to come past here and see it all folded up and no longer. No, that's when he gets sad. Oh, I'll pay the George. 150, come on. The gloves are off. The gloves are off for a fucking glove. No? 150. Done. Lovely. Right, we have to put um, and say these are you were there, really bold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lovely time, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You okay? Good. Hey. Yeah. Good. 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 It would have been every other corner used to have a pub from, from Ivory Corner to the Archway as such. But they're all like coffee shops, whatever they are now. Pubs ain't there, are they? Again, get, trying to get another local pub, it all changes, doesn't it? It's not like Pete, he did have a wind up with him. I couldn't do that in another pub straight away. <laughs> Most of them don't like me anyway, but that's besides the point. So now it is, it's an end of a community, basically. You know, it's going to be boarded up or whatever it is, it's just another fucking empty street, basically. But to me, it's just like, it's upset me, like, because, like, all around here, everybody knows everybody, yeah? And everybody's to come in here, right? But now, that's all gone now. Do you understand what I'm saying, dear? That's all gone. And then every day, I'm going to have to walk past this pub and just board it up. It'd be like, memories will come back to me, you understand? The times in here we had, good times, but them days are all gone there. What does your, your, your dad think about it closing? And... Well, I'm thought he's got the dimension and all the rest of it. Now, he's closing, he's more concerned when it's fucking opening, because he asks me every two minutes, is the charge open yet? Is the charge open yet? <laughs> he's the only man I know the last rights. He was done and dusted, Ovis, boff. Came through it. Not all oh, my family's here. Is the George open? Everyone thought my name and asked what was George for fuck's sake. 
because that's all he was asking about. Yeah. Cheers, me darling. Mm. How sad. I went up to see him yesterday, and <coughs> Mum. I didn't understand. And I tell you what, Margaret, he looked better yesterday than I've seen him in here. Really? Oh, that's Sitting fantastic. You told me something. It's really nice. Really lovely cake. Oh, it took me long enough to make it, love. Did it? Oh, all night. Did you stir it? <laughs> you are a stirrer, anyway. So. I stirred it, I mixed it, then I went out and stole it. His father was the biggest stirrer in Holloway Road. <laughs> oh, I love that. How long were those niggas in that tree, Amy? Oh, there was a bird nest there for 12 years. There's been kids born in them, niggas. Look, birdies, isn't it? <laughs> Did you go out with him? I fucking never went out with him. God, you've got to be joking. He went with everybody else. Like, never. No. <laughs> the judge said to me, how low can you go? I said, I banged a chihuahua and I come out of Riley. <laughs> Bless me, Father, for I am So there's nothing left, really, for us. You know, unfortunately, with all of the, the pubs closing, we're losing we're losing all of the, the community spirit. And once these places are lost, they're gone forever. You know, they, they, they'll never open up again. Just a shame for the people like us, you know, the older generation. You know, really, it's kind of sad to see it go after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to miss this place. drinking here for donkey's years or so we know lots of the people we are all friends it sort of splits up everyone so yeah it's a, it's a sad moment it's a sad moment at the bars closing once a george is gone it's just going to leave a massive hole you know it'll never be replaced and you can't change it with a gastro pub or a restaurant it's going to be sadly missed the pub but it's not so much the building it's the people definitely won't be the last time i see him because we'll meet on the road you know, I'm going to get to as many away games as I can over the next few years. All of them, every single one of them is sad and they're all heartbroken. And uh, because uh, the football is the main event on the day, uh, we all know that. But the pub is, a, you know, is also a massive part of the day. As I say it's very unfortunate that we're going, but uh, we've had a long run here, so all things had to come to an end. I noticed you took that down the free house a bit, the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Painted over that a bit lively. <laughs> free house, my bollocks. George Freehouse, Karaoke Saffron Night. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know. He's been saying old songs as well. Shit, <laughs> 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 Fucking did, mate. Here's a painting decorating job, you did you, you cunt? Yeah. <laughs> I'll fucking put it in there, that's why. <laughs> No job too full. Hey, I was pissed that night, I put it in there. I hide myself, didn't I? How you going, Del? Living the dream. Yeah, mate. It's been nice, but then it's, it's sad when you think it is really going to be over and there's little things like we've ran out of crisps. So like little things like that, it's sad knowing that there's never going to be any more crisps left in the pub. And for the last month, people were saying like, oh, I'll see you later and we've been able to say, well, we'll see you next week. And now people are saying, I'll see you later, and you're like, oh, I might never see you again. The conversation's changed a little bit, so I think that's slightly harder to take. Today is the last day in the pub. Guys are in again, behind me there, to so see Eamon at the bar. So uh, my first job was to get him out of the pub when I come here at six o'clock in the morning, and I suspect it's going to be my last job. Yeah. Why are you so I know you should be taking the piss. No, I'm not. 
that I have been a bit nervous and have been a bit anxious over the last few weeks and I guess it's uh, natural, people are telling me it's natural and uh, I didn't expect to be that way but today I'm fine and uh, I'm in a very sort of happy place with the pub and everything in and everything involved around it. It's very important that people have turned up over that, actually over the last week, two weeks and it shows you the measure of people that have been involved with and the, the level of respect and uh, friendship and everyone's very sad but I think they'll also be celebrating the, the fact that they had a part of the George. Is there any last, last thing you want to say? Can you give me two seconds in that? Uh, 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 yeah, it gives two seconds. Last word is a big thank you to everybody that's walked through the door and <laughs> fell out of it. <laughs> There's a few that fell out of it. That's the important in bit. Fairness, they, they, uh, they earned the money hard and they come in and spent it behind the bar and uh, I could not be more grateful. Thank you guys. Oh, sorry. That, thanks for sticking no, with no, me, there. No. Thanks so much for being so I've got, I've got, I wouldn't have got through that without him. No, no, no. Thanks so much, man. Right. Go behind the bar and get yourself. Nice. <laughs>